third episode of the day and uh, this morning there was bad news uh, in the entertainment world uh, when we heard about the passing of a DJ uh, by the name of DJ somebody now he was from a gig that had been stopped right at the robot or when the robot turned red in Woodmead when they were leaving the event now the last thing you expect to see is a person less than a few hours like six seven hours later coming out with this type of a prophecy in case you didn't notice yes there is somebody that claimed to have a prophecy i'm gonna put it up here and let's read what he says His name is pastor tl emmanuel he says prophecy fulfilled in this thing the reason why i'm posting this particular video i want to also illustrate is how he phrases this this is one of those where you just cringe all the way i've stated when you are supposedly gifted by god I say supposedly because I don't know if you are gifted, okay? I can't speak for, for someone's gift. When you say you are gifted, there is also growth in that gift. And this is not it. He says uh, prophecy fulfilled, okay? That's how he's starting this whole chat. He says another South African media personality pass on. He says glory to God. I trust you are well and denying uh, yourself. Take up your cross daily and following the example of the Lord Jesus Christ. So you take rule and reign with him in, the, in this world and the world to come. That's how he's starting a death prophecy fulfillment. I trust you are well, he says. Okay. He says, on the 6th of June, 2021, I shared a prophetic word. He says, beginning, I saw an angel suspended in the mid. speaks about being in, in Auckland Park. This, he saw this angel over Auckland Park, the SABC's office, and he uh, dressed in a beautiful uh, white linen garment. And he says, he loomed uh, large and sprawled over the, the SABC campus and he looked like a full gowned man, full grown man standing above the... So basically what he says here is that this was kind of a representation of influential people going to die. He says uh, the South African celebrities in particular dying and he says in this particular season and he says we are going to see something happening within the South African media landscape. Uh, we should expect to see actors. We should expect to see that. People die, we understand that. And, and the thing that I wanted to highlight, okay, I'll share my thoughts just in a second here. When it comes to how he's phrasing it, it says DJs, directors, producers, music models, influencers, uh, media personalities and many people involved in the broadcasting and media thingy. Uh, he says by by fall, he says he, he expects to see them fall. And he says falling him means dying. South Africa, God is speaking. I hope you are listening. This is an unprecedented number of deaths focus on one group of people at one time. He says the level of idolatry, ancestral worship, witchcraft and all kinds of perversions in the media industry and entertainment industry has reached alarming proportions. But also the way that Mandems is moving, which is the prophet, so to say, is it's also very much alarming, you would say. He says, this is the days of the vengeance of the son of man. Dying is part of the, is the unfortunate state of the physical body. Anybody, this is the thing that my thoughts are on this, anybody could have died like this. A hitman being sent on you, anybody could have suffered from that, even from a crime of a um, thing. But he says, I would like to thank God for the mercy of his foreknowledge and I give him all the praise and honor, no prophecy Yeah. Opening words and the closing words, they are quite telling. People say, this is a calling. 
the calling where they are saying God is speaking to them and in the height of other people's emotions that's when the glory to God and I trust that you are well so I wanted just to uh, to do this video just so that we can come back here before worldly platforms see this post so that we clarify as the church there is a tone the Bible says you mourn with those that mourn and uh, that's why funerals still have pastors till date is because there is a certain tone of a message a pastor brings to such an event to such a, a gathering it's not like you are there to kind of send them into heaven it speaks to the restoration of hope for those people that are still alive a pastor say, has that tone he can address that he can cut in between the conversation and reach people that are beyond Richard. That's the position of a pastor. I'm running short of words when I see, the more of these things I see uh, when it happens. If you, if you have the gift, if you have the gift, pray that you grow in the gift so that you may know how to communicate this gift. Right? It's a gift, right? You have the gift. I'm not a prophet. I don't claim to be prophetic. I don't say prophetic thingy or prophetic dreams or whatnot. But I grow in my gift in being able to communicate to a dying world. Anybody could have died like that. Now, the circumstances, what nuts might be different. He might be caught up in something else different. Somebody might be jealous or something like that. It might be different, but dying in a hell of bullets, that's something that anybody could think of. The, the glory to God content context 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 around it it's as if yeah i'm glad i was right i hope that clarifies what i mean by that uh, yeah i hope I was, i'm glad i was right that's that's what it sounds like it takes the light from god who keeps restores it takes the light from that and it shines this doom over the statement takes away God in looking at your gift are you sure Mandan? it's Ricky other episodes done today they'll be down in the pinned comments and I'll be signing out there's a way to communicate I don't know what that is it's your gift you learn how to communicate your gift I've learned how to communicate my gift. I thank God. Like, someone has passed away, and you, you get to a thing, like, you get to a funeral when someone has passed away, and you say, I thank God. How does that sound? There's a way of communication, or communicating what you say is your gift.